Okay, class, let's go over some basic principles of balance and design. My basic understanding of German aviation is a boat. Think about it this way. If you put something really heavy on this side of the boat, what's going to happen? It's going to tilt and sink. So what do you have to do? Balance it. Put something on the other side of the boat. But how does that really work with your journal pages? Easy enough. Let's get rid of this boat here. Oh no, the fish, they're dying. A straw journal page. This doesn't mean you can't put into effect any of the balance issues, design issues, anything like that. It just means this. If you put something big over here, you should probably put something big or of the same color over here. If you put a bunch of words up here, put a bunch of words down here. If you color this blue, put a little bit of blue over here. It doesn't have to be the same amount. I mean, you don't have two blue stripes. But the fact of the matter is, the way this works out is everything looks pretty balanced. And then you can put something right in the center. Don't tip over the boat if it's in the center, will it? Let's talk about thirds. As you can see from the video you're watching right now, I'm using thirds. I am over on this side of the screen. The board is the other two thirds of the screen. It's a basic television and film principle, but I think it works pretty well with journal pages. Basically, divide your sheet into thirds. You don't have to use each third. You can, like the video, do something there, and then do something in the other two thirds of the page. You can split your page like that and do the thirds or just two thirds and a third you can even do that still splitting the page into thirds just make sure your page is into three in some way you can even split it that way. Who said they had to be equal? I was just 